I will never go back to the recommended way of writing Firebase functions after I implemented the single change. The rule that I added is that every endpoint that you create should direct all of the work to be done to a service. And this is what I mean by that. Here we have a new endpoint that I created called add team member. This allows users of my no-code test automation tool for Flutter to add members to their team so that they can share in the license that they've bought. In this endpoint, you see that we simply get the email and the team ID. We pass that to the service that calls add team member. And then we return our response based on the response of the add team member call. Now these two lines is what I meant by the statement. Directing all of the work to be done to a service. When I go into this function, it's nothing special. All of the code is basic and not important for this video. So why does this make such a big difference? And why did this rule change the way that I build my Firebase backend? What this means is that all the functionality is right here, which makes it very easy to write an integration test for. And that's where the power comes in. If I go over to my team services test file, you'll see that for this integration test, I simply construct a team service. I call that same function. I check if everything's correct. And then I go directly to my database and confirm that everything that was expected to be done is correct. This makes it extremely easy to unit test the functionality within an endpoint. These tests are different from end-to-end -end tests on the backend. An end-to-end -end test will call this endpoint and then it will be testing if this is serialized correctly and it will be testing if the responses based on what was passed in is also correct. I am only interested in integration testing the functionality of the code that I wrote and how it affects our database. The other benefit of having this set up like this is that writing the integration tests are actually easier and not in the sense of writing the code for it, but setting them up. If I open up the setup integration test function, you'll see that all I have here is a check if we're running on the emulator and if we are running on the emulator, I just want to make sure that Firebase is pointing to the local host and not the remote host of my database. And then I call initialize app. And then I call the admin Firestore setup. Now this probably looks familiar. And the reason for that is if I go to my index file, you'll see that same code over there. That is all that you need to set up Firebase which means that that is all that you need to set up your integration tests as well. Now, this is much simpler than some of the other integration tests that I've seen, and it's all due to that single rule. Directing all of the functionality that you have to a service. By simply adhering to the single rule, I've made every single endpoint that I have completely integration testable without any additional setup required for those integration tests. That cannot be said for the way that Firebase teaches you to actually build these functions. If you enjoyed this video, I go into deeper, more technical details in my newsletter, which you can find in the description.